What's going on guys? This is RJ with VOOC Grips. Hey, today we're going to do another how to wrap a vat video with the VOOC. We're going to go over all the extra tips and tricks that we know to help make it easier for you guys to wrap a vat easily and successfully with our vat grips. Also, there's a few adjustments as far as hand positioning that we want to go over with you guys to make it super easy for the installation process to go nice and smooth for you. So again, with the VOOC, you guys can open up your packaging. We have super, super detailed instructions on the inside for you. Big pictures, big words. You guys can go over all the step by step. We also include a QR code you can scan with your phone, take out your camera, scan that. A link will pop up that goes right to our how to wrap a bat section on our website. Uh, if you don't have a phone out with you, then you just hit up bootgrips.com. You'll go to our FAQs and click how to wrap a bat and it goes to our website with all the tips, all the extra words and all the extra videos for you guys to check it out. All right. So quick tip real quick, uh, we always recommend keeping your Vucrips logos facing up when applying. So we, what we mean by that is as long as you can read it, we think that's easier to do. Now we have a thick taper edge and we have a skinny taper edge. It doesn't matter which way you wrap it because we use a super strong adhesive. We're gonna, gonna, we're gonna do the skinny taper edge and show you how to do that real quick. The other recommendation we always recommend for you guys is to have the bat resting on the ground, on a table, on a chair. That way you can spin it with one hand and apply it with the other. Um, we'll show you how to do that right here. But we're going to go over the couple quick things real quick to show you the difference in VOOC and other grips. So we know VOOC is a lot softer than the rest. You guys will see here that the grip is a little flimsier once it, comes, once it comes off the backing. The backing keeps it nice and stiff for you. So that's why we say do not remove the backing in large sections. Take your time only unpeel it as you stick it. That's kind of a recommendation. The grip won't curl in by itself. That's a huge bonus. We know that might be a sticking point for some of the wrappers out there. The big thing for us is it's all about the tension, all right? You don't want to pull VOOC hard or pull it too tight. So when you first start it, we always recommend maybe putting that edge up a little bit. So on the first time around, you can, you can catch it with an overlap. But you'll see with VOOC, we want to keep both hands together and you want to use your thumbs at the handle. A lot of other grips, they tell you to pull it tight. They require a lot of tension, which makes your wrapping hand all the way out here. So if you were to move the backing and you start pulling out here, you will see the grip start to change shape and starts to curl in. More tension than that, it's going to stick to itself. You're going to have a hard time. You're going to have to unstick it, which is going to be a pain in the butt. So again, don't put the tension out here with VOOC. Again, you want to put the tension at the handle using your thumbs. So as you come around the taper, all right, you can use this hand to apply and this hand can flatten it out. We're kind of almost pushing down and up. That's kind of how we recommend to get through that taper. Okay, because VOOC is a little softer than some other grips. And again, you'll see the grip isn't curling in when the tension is applied right here. You don't want to pull it out here. Again, if you pull it out here, the grip will start to change shape and starts to curl in. So don't remove the backing. Just go nice and slow using those thumbs. Use one hand to turn. And basically, it goes on like that. If you mess it up, you can just unpeel it and restick it. Keep both thumbs together if that's easier for you. Once you get good at it, you can rest the other hand down here on the knob and use one hand just to apply it. Again, you're kind of just unpeeling the backing and sticking it. Again, the tension is at the handle. You want to put all the tension or the little bit of stretch required to put it on right here. Again, if you put it out here, you will see the grip will start to curl in, right? And change shape. We don't want that. So only remove the backing in nice, small sections. Spin it and apply. Again, rest the bat on the floor, on a chair, on a table. It takes a lot of the weight off for you. You're not holding the bat up. Your forearms get tired. Get a little forearm workout. All right. As you finish the bat, you'll get rid of the liner. All right. You will squeeze tight. The adhesive is pressure sensitive, so it should lock it into the bat. You don't want to squeeze and twist. You just want to squeeze tight. And then you'll get the included finishing tape, which is inside the circle with you guys. Basically, you'll finish off the grip up there nice and easy. So big adjustments with VOOC that are very different than other grips is you want to keep both hands together and keep both thumbs doing all the work. Again, you don't want to pull it out here. If your applying hand gets far enough away from the handle, it might be more difficult that way. It's doable. It's just going to be more difficult, especially with bigger tapers and bigger knobs that you'll find on wood bats. So again, keep both thumbs together. Simply just go nice and easy, applying the tension at the handle, not away from it, and use almost like a down and up motion to apply the boot. All right, guys. Hey, we greatly appreciate you guys. Again, you can check out all of our videos on YouTube or on our website at bootgrips.com. Go to our FAQ section in the header, 
And then you guys can also click on all of our wrapping videos. We have tons of videos on how to wrap a bat, how to wrap a large taper, how to wrap the knob of a bat. Again, just takes a little bit of time. Those quick adjustments, those tips and tricks will make a world of difference when wrapping your first VOOC because it's a little bit different than everything else. But we definitely appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for joining the VOOC pack. Be sure to hit us up if you guys have any questions. Have a great day.